a little touch of the cotton mouth here. Excuse, excuse me, just a minute. Wonderful, wonderful woman. Does your dog drink out of the toilet? That just reminded me of that. My dog, his name is Catfish. He drinks out of the toilet. The other day I said to him, why do you go to the bathroom in my carpet? He said, you go to the bathroom in my water bowl. I love dogs. I'm a, I'm a dog. I love dog. I saw a great ad in the paper yesterday under Lost and Found. It said, Lost Dog. Ain't got but three legs. Lost one of the legs in a fight. Ain't got but one ear. Got hurt in a bad accident. Got seven big old main spots all over it. One eye's put out. Ain't got no tail left. He's chasing a car one day and caught one. <laughs> Answers to the name Lucky. A friend of mine who also went to University of Georgia uh, from South Georgia got up to school there, you know, and everything, and he got in a little trouble one to co-ed. She come up my family way and he did some money quick. So what he thought he'd do, his daddy had this dog when him old blue. And his daddy loved that dog more than anything in this world. Loved that dog. Everywhere he went, old blue went. And he called his daddy. He said, Daddy, I'm up here at the University of Georgia. So they got an amazing thing at the veterinary school. He said, what's that? They got a thing up here where they can teach a dog to read. So you're kidding me. So that's right. So all you got to do is send me old blue and send me a thousand dollars. And they'll teach old Blue to read. He said, that's the greatest thing of old Blue be reading. That'd be great. So I'll do that. Sends a dog up, sends a thousand dollars. Boy gets out of trouble. Two months later, he joins a fraternity, real expensive. Gets in a poker game, loses all kind of money, needs some more. Calls his daddy up. And his daddy said, how's old Blue doing? What, is he reading all right? So all day he reading everything. And he gets up in the morning, reads the Wall Street Journal, you know, everything. He said, daddy, they got something you ain't going to believe. They got a thing up there. They can teach old Blue to talk. So you keep this. No. They can do that. So what does it cost? A thousand dollars. It's on our center. That'd be great. Me old Blue could talk like the woods. He could tell me all about what he's been reading. It's just be terrific. Sends a thousand dollars up there. Well, he's going to have to go home with old Blue sooner or later. And he knows then what the world is going to do. Finally, he's going home for Christmas. Him and old Blue on a train. And they're going through Macon, Georgia, going down to Albany, Georgia, where he lives. And he don't what in the world he's going to do. His daddy's going to want to know Want to see old Blue read and talk? What the world is going to do? So he couldn't think of nothing else. He took old Blue out behind the train station, shot old Blue. Got home out of Albany. It was a brass band to beat him. The high school band was out. Had big banners there. Welcome home, old Blue. Some kind of thing. The boy stepped off the train and the band played up. His daddy came to him and said, Son, where's old Blue? Well, I want to talk to old Blue. I can't wait to hear what he's got to say and tell me everything. He said, Daddy, can I speak with you just a minute over here to decide to get away from all these people? He said, Sure. He wants to Daddy, said, let me tell you something. He said, this morning, I was shaking. Old Blue was there sitting on a giant reading the New York Times. And said, he looked up at me and said, is your daddy still missing that little waitress down to dinner? His daddy said, I hope you shot that lying scoundrel. <laughs> 